Hey guys, a little late on this, but I'm finally not sick anymore, so welcome to The Sims 4 Spooky Stuff. All new pumpkin carving station. Carve a pumpkin, but beware of Sims who like to stomp. Ghost Sims will even be able to put a candle lit pumpkin on their heads. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go over, I'm just gonna go over what's in the uh, Spooky Stuff pack. That way you guys kind of see if you want it, if you don't, if you haven't already bought it, or decided if you don't want it. All new spooky candle bowl. See what surprises await for your sims as they take their chance with this mis mischievous object. Oh, the things they will do for a piece of candy. Invite sims over for a spooky party. Decorate your sims home with a collection of fun decor objects. Treat your guests to the eyeball cheese plate and other new edible delights. Oh my god. <laughs> new costumes and makeup. A spooky party is only as good as the sims who show up in costumes. Play dress up from pirates, super llamas, super llamas. Oh, like a super, oh, I see it. There's a super llama right here. Got it. There are fun options for Sims young and old. How many options are there though? Because you know that as soon as you throw a party, some bitch Sims gonna come over to your house wearing the same exact costume. And then you're gonna need a murder. No, I'm just kidding. All right, I'm gonna load up the Mr. Jefferson family I have. I'm probably gonna add a child to it though, so we can see the, cause there's children's costumes too. I wanna see everything, or I'll just um, enable the edit mode where I can, you know, choose people. Wait, where am I? Where am I? Where's he live? Uh, that's not you. I'm lost. Fuck, where the fuck did he live? I thought he lived in one of these. What the fuck? Where's my family? Where'd all my save files go? What the fuck? You guys, <laughs> what the fuck just like? happened? I literally don't have any save files anymore. I clicked on one of them and they disappeared. I know I'm not doing the shit wrong. Alright, I reloaded the game. I just want to see the Halloween stuff. Oh my god, what the fuck? All my save files are gone? Do I have any of you run into this? What the happened? And I'm gonna cry. <laughs> that is the worst thing on the Sims when you lose your save files or you forget to save the game, which is it all the saves in this game, but when you used to not save the game and you would lose everything because it would crash. Oh my god. Well, I guess I'll make a new fucking family then. My gallery is still intact. But none of my like save files are. I mean, I have the family. I guess I can just use one. Let's just take this. Place, um... <laughs> place, replace. All right. How about baby Victoria? Let's look at Halloween costumes. All right. Let's go to content. Oops. Packs. Spooky stuff? Mm. No, there's no spooky stuff here. The fuck you mean? The fuck do you mean? Alright, there we go. I was in the wrong section. You have to be in the full outfit. We got a little princess outfit. A skeleton. Different colors. Oh, look at the purple one. <laughs> Oh god, this reminds me of that Disney game I played. The princess one? Oh no. Pirate. Oh wait, no, that's not a pirate. This is like... Asshole. And then there's the pirate. More like, um, I don't know. Thomas Jefferson. Um, alright, so accessories. Please, can you just keep the, like, can you just perma have that on? I feel like I just got really angry and bitchy and I apologize for that. It's just, you know, when your save files disappear, it does a number to you. <laughs> it does. It did save it. See? Now it has spooky stuff up. Now it doesn't. I think they have hats. So let's look at accessories. There we go. Oh, you could be like the headless um horseman. Ichabod Crane. Alright, well, she can be Ichabod. Do we have um, scary shoes or spooky spooky shoes? I think I already looked. 
There was. I don't know why I ignored them. I guess these boots will go best. Oh, that works. Is there like a blue tint? Like a navy blue? We'll go with that one. All right. A little dirty, but. All right, so those are your kids' clothing options. Well, not just this, but you guys saw them. All right, now let's do an adult one. Start with Josh. All right, there's a chef thing. Probably his pants to go with it. <gasps> Oh, no. All right, well, you choose any pants. All right, now... Oop. Here are... Oh, there are a lot of costume options. Good. That's what I was concerned about. And it looks like they actually have plenty of options. Like, Mortal Kombat type thing. Hmm. Gladiator. Wow. School gone wrong. Waiter? What the fuck? Hmm. Oh my god, that thing is huge! Ooh. Oh. Alright, that doesn't really affect it. <laughs> I was curious. <laughs> Ew, I don't know. I don't like how those shorts look. It looks like they're like, he's pulling them up all the way. It just looks weird. Okay. Cool, there are a lot of costume oh. options. Good to know! Alright, and then we got boots. Oh, I can't change them on this outfit. But you also have these boots. Now, let's go to hats. Any of those. Is that a tinfoil hat? Yes. Alright, beautiful. Let's go to Chloe. Actually, I accidentally made her a kid. Oh, Naya, Lorraine. I don't know what happened to her blue hair. It's gone. All right. Full body? Oh, wow. Do they have a lot less for women? Or do they just have... Damn. We got shafted. <laughs> got shafted on the Halloween costumes. Mm. All right. Well, there you go. Be a pirate, and then let's look at hats. There you go. Other hats. Perfect. Anything else for spookies? Spookies? Any hair? I did not look at hair. Nope. Did boys have hair? They did not. Right. Mm. I'm assuming kids didn't either, but as soon as I assume that, the kids are actually going to have, like, Halloween hair. They do! Oh, cute little princess um, thing. Alright. Well, let's get everyone dressed up. No, we'll have her with the princess thing. <clears throat> oh, and some earrings, too. Nice. I guess I didn't look at earrings. I just figured they wouldn't they wouldn't be there. No. Some scientist glasses. Maybe her women. Oh, some necklaces. Oh, do we have new makeup? It looks like we've had that makeup. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, and I never looked at shoes. Huh. This is weird. I feel like they should have. They could have almost made the costumes pretty similar for the men and women. <sighs> Wait, where did all. Didn't I just have a lot more options here? I am so confused. Hmm. I'm so confused. Did... What? 
But <laughs> we what? You guys, I think my game is possessed. I think the spooky stuff pack installed something freaky because I'm having some issues. Maybe it's one of the mods. I don't have that many mods in the game. I think I have like two. Working not very well with this. Um, or oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. No, I didn't. Look, see? Alright, these are the spooky stuff. These are the old costumes, but where did those up? Uh, like this. Did I really have this the entire time? I don't remember that shit. Whatever, I can't think about this anymore. Let's just go look at the stuff in game. Uh, yeah, everyone looks fine. What's the problem? She doesn't need anything here. All right, well, some of them are dressed up. Some of them aren't. But you can have a spooky stuff party. I think it's just called a spooky party. Let's see if my save files are still here. See, my save files are still here. Why can't I access them when I want to load them? Whatever. I can't. I just can't deal with this right now. I think it's just some weird thing. Alright, um... Let's look at the new stuff here. They do have some new build mode stuff. This. And then they also have wallpaper. Get a little wall. Who cares what it looks like? Oh, do they not? Yeah, they do. Here we go. You have that. You have this. This. I like the ghosts. These new ghosts. Oh, those are cute too. And that. Let's go spooky, spooky ghosts. Alright. I don't think there's anything else there. We do have some new Halloween rooms. Plentiful plush playroom. Unliving room. Cool. Yeah, I could put one of these down. Oh, I, I should probably do mother load so I can afford things to show you guys. Alright, let's see what that looks like. Nice! New rug. Bunch of new things from the expansion. Or not expansion pack. Stuff pack! Not game pack. Stuff pack. We have like 50 different packs now. Take my money. Take all the candy. Alright. Are you guys those people? Halloween question for those of you who do do Halloween. No, not everyone does it. But for those of you who do, when you see a big bowl of candy... Big bowl of candy. And it's all still there. Do you take all of it? And no one's around, by the way. It's like, you know, they have a sign out that says, take one. Do you just take one? Or do you take the whole bowl? Or you take, you know, more than one? I think you usually wouldn't take the whole bowl, but I would take more than one. I'm a fucking rebel. What can I say? What can I say? Alright. I wish they had trick-or-treating on The Sims. That would be cute. That Wouldn't that be cute? Just have little kids come to your house, ding on the doorbell, give them candy. Alright. Now let's look. Here are all the new things. So we got a spooky ghost couch, spooky ghost... Well, that's more of a couch. This is a... Whatever. You guys got it. This... What is that? Pumpkin carving station. Sugar and spice candy bowl. We already saw these. There's curtains. Jillo lantern. Bam. What is this? Jacko hat. Um. What is that? A parlor trick spooky center place. Okay. So just decor. Friday night rug. Oh, I like that one. Are there different ones? Is that what that? Yeah, that's what that bat one was. Then they also have the jack o' lantern. That's, yeah. Okay. Here's this one. Cobweb decal. Let's get that up. Just put one. Here's the other side. Ooh, gross. Spider. Cauldron. Light show. Skelly bear. What is the other options? Okay, they pretty much still look the same. Oh, it's kind of big. All right, that's a light, I think. Yep. I 
anything else? Really good. Blah blah. Just pretty much decor options. More lights. Oops, what did I just delete? I don't care. Alright, I really just want to see the pumpkin carving station and the interactions we can have. Let's see. So this, turn on fog. Cool. I like it. Let's turn on all lights. Just a regular color. All right. Oh, let's do the purple, no, the pink mood lighting. Bur beautiful. Beautiful. All right, the cauldron, turn on. Okay. Now let's carve a pumpkin. See what that looks like. Carve cockeyed pumpkin. Ew. I don't know. All right, let's have Chloe. I don't think they can start a party yet. We need to meet someone. Hey, you. You need to come to our Halloween party. Hello. Bimpy. Uh-huh. Wait, come back, motherfucker. I'm trying to talk to you. Just attack all the neighbors. Come to my Halloween party. All right, now. Let's have her do that. Plan a social event. Spooky party? Be the proprietor of your own spooky party where costumes are de rigueur and a uh, setting rife with frightful decor. Prepare ghoulish gastronomy, gastronomy to satisfy guests' cravings while they preoccupy themselves with pumpkin carving. Those too terrified to help themselves to the spooky cannibal can always ask another party goer for a treat. Just don't get tricked. All right. Gold level reward unlocks a super llama costume. All right. Oh, good. So our people put on costumes who didn't have them on. Oh, wait, old man, you're so sad. Come to our Halloween party. All right, pause. Pizza girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you? Oh, that's Paula Dean. Child version. All right. Oh, she made, she carved the pumpkin. We didn't get to see it, though. Do it again. Put an in inventory. She would make a white pumpkin, that bitch. Alright, while she's doing that, let's grab a treat. So yeah, I'd say with, with most of the stuff packs we've seen so far, it's not a ton of content. Um... But the stuff packs are ten dollars, so they are cheaper than anything else. You get some interesting new things. I think people enjoy the holiday stuff. Um, so I, I would say if you're really into Halloween, this would be one you would like. Um, there are a lot of also good costumes, I'd say. There's a pretty good amount of those. I know that some people were upset that they gave the Christmas, um, kind of, uh, the Christmas stuff out for free in a free update, um, and Halloween wasn't a free update. I think maybe because Halloween's more of, like, I don't know how many people celebrate Halloween. Is this a, I don't know, whatever. Um, it might have been why they didn't choose to just release it in a free update. I'm not sure. Um... I don't have a ghost on this lot, which is why I wanted to load up the Mr. Jefferson store we had. It's just because there's so many ghosts there that we might have been able to um, get them to put on a pumpkin. I think it's this one they put on. I'm not sure. But they pumpkin scare you. You guys, I'm sure you can look it up on the Sims website. Um, they also had it on the trailer for the stuff pack. So, yeah, I mean, I'd say this this stuff pack's decent. It's okay for a stuff pack. It's fine. Um, again, I mean, you're not going to expect as much stuff as a game pack or an expansion pack. Do you guys... Let me know. Would you guys think the stuff, the stuff packs are worth it? Or have you guys mainly not really liked them? I'm curious what you guys think. So far I've bought, I'd say I bought like half of the stuff packs. Half of them I haven't really bought. Uh, I don't know. 
I'm okay with them. I don't mind adding more stuff to the game, and they're not exactly super expensive. I mean, I might like them. I would probably buy all of them if they were $5 instead of $10. But, I don't know. I'm not as excited about them as the game packs and expansion packs so far. I've just noticed that with stuff packs, I'm like, ah, that one looks okay. I haven't been like, oh my god, this is gonna be amazing, I can't believe this stuff pack, I'm gonna rip out my hair and take off my clothes and hug my neighbor. Oh god, no, I won't. But, you guys know what I mean. Hopefully you don't know what I mean about ripping out your hair and taking off your clothes and randomly hugging your neighbor. Not that, but you know what I mean about, like, being super excited about an upcoming expansion or whatever. Um, and I just haven't felt that sort of excitement with the game packs. They've just been like, ah, alright, that looks okay, I guess I'll add it. Or, ah, that one looks okay, but I don't really want it. That sort of thing. But let me know, how do you guys feel about the game packs? Or, no, the stuff packs. What, I, see, uh, uh, how do you guys feel about all the 50 different packs you can get? Uh, <laughs> I just... It's like so hard doing videos on these. I'm sure I, I, I've already called it like an expansion, a game pack, a stuff pack, a sim pack. I don't know what the fuck I've called it. I'm sorry. There's so many different things just coming at you. Uh, I kind of would have liked holidays like this. Every single holiday ever. No, I'm just kidding. But it would have been kind of cool if they had holiday stuff in on like a seasons pack. Or if they added fall colors to this. I do miss the snow and the, the different weather that, like, a Seasons expansion pack had. It's one of the little things, though. It's definitely one of the little things, though, that just makes the game a little more... I don't know, feel a little more realistic for me. But I live in a place where, like, you know, it's... So the fall changes the leaves, I get snow. So I'm kind of used to Seasons, and I like having them in my game, too, but... Some people, it's green skies. Green skies all... You guys, I just woke up. I'm gonna be honest with you. I just woke up. So forget my statements for the past five minutes because I know there aren't green skies all year round. I meant blue skies and green grass all year round. Um, let me know again what you guys think about all the different kinds of packs. And specifically, what do you think about this one? Uh, did you get it? Are you going to get it? What do you think? And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!